second. And they're followed in third place by Not Complaining But, and then comes the favourite Ister Brack, ahead of his song, The Unbeaten Novice, and then Noble Time. As they run up towards the first punting piece, Richard Dunwoody in the lead. Theatre World, runner up a year ago, Norman Williamson in the saddle. This time, punting Pete over the first from Theatre World in second, and they're clear of not complaining. But Isterbrack jumps at fourth, ahead of his song, and then we've got Noble Time just ahead of last year's winner, Cockney Lad. But punting Pete takes them past the stands for the first time with a lead of uh, about five lengths over Theatre World in second. Theatre World, a good eight lengths clear of not complaining, but who's about half a length in front of uh, Isterbrack. Then his song, and behind his song, Noble Time and Cockney Lad brings up the rear. Flight number two. Hunting Pete over from Theatre World in second. They're clear of Isterbrack jumps in third. Not complaining, but on his inside and behind the mare. We've got his song with the white face, Noble Time, the green and yellow colours on the left of the picture, and Cockney Lad on the rail as they go up towards flight number three. Punting Pete in the lead. And clear from uh, Theatre World, who in turn is uh, clear of not complaining, but Isterbrack keeping wide. Then his song and Cockney Lad and Noble Tyne. Flight number three, Punting Pete from Theatre World in second. Not complaining, but on the inside, Isterbrack the outer. His song is fifth as they go left-handed towards the back straight. A long run to flight number four, and Punting Pete strides along clear of Theatre World in second. Not complaining, but the rails in third, followed by Isterbrack in four. And behind Isterbrack comes his song, Cockney Lad, and finally Noble Tyne, as they turn now to straighten up for the fourth. Punting Pete, runner up to Isterbrack here at Christmas. Making the running clear of Theatre World. The others have closed up on Theatre World. Now not complaining but about uh, three lengths back ahead of Isterbrack and then his song. Cockney Lad is next and finally Noble Tyne as they come towards the fourth. Punting Pete in the lead. Good six lengths clear, Theatre World in second. Almost three lengths clear of Isterbrack showing third and fourth place is not complaining but and then his song Cockney Lad and Noble Tyne returning after a long absence and the only horse to have beaten Isterbrack over hurls brings up the rear as they run towards the fifth flight now and Punting Pete with uh, Theatre World closing the gap now in second place and they're about uh, five lengths clear of Isterbrack. His song was moved up alongside not complaining but Cockney Lad and Noble Tyne the last pair at the fifth. Punting Pete from Theatre World in second. Punting Pete, Theatre World and then his song three, not complaining, but Isterbrack uh, wasn't uh, foot perfect there, but still handy in fifth. Just ahead of Cockney Lad is beginning to get a bit closer, and then Noble Tyne is to go towards the third last flight, and it's Punting Pete, the leader, by two and a half to Theatre World. His song jumps into third place there, followed in fourth place by not complaining, but Isterbrack is fifth, and then Cockney Lad, and finally Noble Tyne. Tightly grouped as they begin to turn off the back, a long run to the second last, Punting Pete taken on by Theatre World. His song going well, about two and a half lengths back in third, then the favourite is Isterbrack four, not complaining but it's five, Cockney Lad and Noble Tyne still closely grouped about six lengths covering them as they pass the half mile marker and Theatre World on the outside of Punting Pete, Isterbrack closes right up now on the outside, his song still going easily, not complaining but right on their heels with Cockney Lad and also Noble Tyne all in contention down to the second last Isterbrack's widest of all, his song is alongside him, Cockney Lad's got through on the inside, then not complaining but Punting Pete's dropped away and so is Theatre World as they run the turn into the straight and it's Isterbrack on the outside of his song Cockney Lad last year's winner is on the rail and as they've levelled out to the final flight, Isterbrack and Charlie Swan have it from his song, Richard Hughes in second about half a length between them, Noble Tyne putting in a big run in third, Cockney Lad is four, down to the final flight, Isterbrack lobbing his song close in second and third place is Noble Tyne at the last as Isterbrack from his song on the far side and then Noble Tyne and racing into the closing stages as Isterbrack having to be roused his song running a cracking race on the far side the novice as they race up towards the line Isterbrack ridden out, gaining the upper hand but a big run from his song as they go to the line Isterbrack wins it in the end by about a length and a half his song a big run, second third Noble Tyne and they're clear of last year's winner Cockney Lad not complaining but a tired theatre world and an exhausted Punting Pete walking up to uh, finish last of the seven. So Isterbrack has won, but uh, his song came out of the race uh, almost as well as the winner. A big run for uh, Mouse Morris's.